I know we have mostly the print media here, but I do need the tape where Daryl said something about uh, how dare he question NASCAR's judgment in the future. So I need to get that tape somewhere. Thank you. <laughs> well said. We're joined, of course, by Brian France, NASCAR's chairman and CEO, and his sister, Lisa France Kennedy, who is NASCAR's vice chairwoman and executive vice president. Lisa, ladies first, your thoughts on today? Well, today was absolutely wonderful um, to see everyone come together and recognize what these five great men have done for the sport of NASCAR. So it'll really be one of the most special days for me personally and in my memory. Um, Brian? Yeah, I, you know, I know that we've talked so much and you've heard from other people that it's a celebration of the past and, and, and all the milestones, and, and it was, but I think today marked a little bit about the future, too, because of how, uh, as your last, uh, as Richard and, and Rick and Daryl just said, of how everybody came together uh, uh, in an amazing way today uh, to mark a lot of accomplishments. And uh, I know our entire family is obviously very proud of our father and grandfather, but this was today very much uh, about three other great champions and a whole sport getting the proper recognition uh, for what's happened over the last six decades uh, as more than anything else. Questions? We'll go with Tom first. Tom Jensen, SpeedTV.com. Brian, at a, at, at a lot of the, the press events either run by NASCAR or run by the teams are very carefully scripted and, and today obviously was very well organized. But there is a level of emotion in the room today that you almost never see at an event. Were you guys surprised by that? Did, did you expect it going in? And what was your reaction to it? You know, I, I really didn't. I, and, and Lisa and I talked about it. It was hard for us uh, to, to go up and, uh, you know, and have our father inducted and us, even though we had a very simple assignment. But, uh, and, and I thought you, you did see that, Tom, uh, with, uh, you know, a lot of the family members or friends and, and the stories. And, uh, and it was like any other NASCAR event in that, everybody didn't worry about uh, the commercial side of things. They worried about the achievements uh, and, the, and the personalities of, uh, of some very great people that have gotten this sport to where it is. What else for Lisa and Brian? Reed has a question here, if we can get him a mic. Uh, yeah, uh, Reed Spencer with Sporting News. Uh, Brian, you just mentioned that this is a uh, not only a testament to the past, but also to the future. Um, and a lot of it, a lot of you know, the Hall and Hall of Fame induction today was about how people are visionaries for NASCAR, um, particularly your father and grandfather. And I just was curious to to ask you, what is your vision of the future, and what would you like to see NASCAR become, say, in the next ten or twenty years? Well. Um for NASCAR in the next 10 and 20 years, I just want it to continue to grow based on the foundation that we have and the appreciation that I think NASCAR has always had for its fans. And I think that was laid out by every one of the people that were inducted into the Hall of Fame today. But our task really is to keep up with the changing world and technology and all the other things that will impact our sport in the future. So thank you. You know, I made light when I went up there today that uh, – uh, I had been fired more times than anybody had worked at NASCAR, and that's probably true, uh, which is a long way of, or a short way of saying that, uh, you know, you don't ever feel entitled uh, despite uh, opportunities that are provided for you. And Lisa just said, right, this is a big, big sport. That there's a lot of, obviously, stakeholders uh, uh, that are all counting on this sport to deliver certain things. And uh, our challenge is to evolve with that have the very best people uh, that we can in the industry uh, helping us. Uh, and then don't forget the, the, the motto of my grandfather and father that everybody has to win. And, uh, uh, you know, at some point financially uh, and otherwise, it's got to be a level playing field and all those things. And if we keep uh, doing that, taking care of our fans, uh, we'll, we'll be fine. Amanda, two rows back. Raise your hand. Thank you. <clears throat> 